day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Quick Math Tutorials. Today, we are going to learn about length of line segments. Let's first define what is the length of a line segment. Length of a line segment, it is the distance between its endpoints. When we say distance, our answers must always be positive because it is about measurement. For example, you are asked what is the distance from your home to your school. It is impossible that you will say negative 20 kilometers. So it is always positive. You will say the distance from my home to my school is 20 kilometers. There are two ways of finding the length of a line segment. First, we have the counting method. Second, we have the subtraction method. Let's first discuss about the counting method. For the counting method, for example, we have here the number line and it has the corresponding points, the F, R, I, E, N, D, S. Now, we are asked to find the length of the line segment FE. So here in our number line, the point F is here. And our point E is also here. So by counting method, we will just count the steps from F to E. So we have here 1, 2, 3. Therefore, the length of the line segment FE is 3 units. In symbol, we have FE is equal to 3 units. So this will be our final answer. Or, in finding the answer, you can also count starting from E to F. So we have 1, 2, 3. So they have just the same answer. Next is, what is the length of the line segment IS? So our point I is here and our point S is here. So by counting method, we will just count the steps from I to S. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, the length of the line segment IS is 4 units, or in symbol we have IS is equal to 4 units. Again, you can find the answer for units by counting starting from S to I. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is just the same. Last example for the counting method is what is the length of the line segment FS? So our point F is here and our point S is here. So by counting method, we will just count the steps from F to S. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Therefore, the length of the line segment FS is 6 units, or in symbol we have FS is equal to 6 units. Or you can count from S to F. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So they have just the same answer. Now let's have our second method which is the subtraction method. So here in the subtraction method, we will solve for the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of its endpoints. For example, we will find the length of the line segment FS. As you can remember, we already find the length of this line segment FS by counting method and our answer for this is 6 units. Now, let's try to use the subtraction method if we will get the same answer. So for our first step, we will identify or determine the coordinate 
roots of the endpoints. So here, for our point F, the coordinate of F is negative 3. And our S is positive 3. Now, to find the measure or the length of our line segment FS, we will take the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of its endpoints. So we have the absolute value of RF is negative 3. So we will now substitute minus RS is 3. So we have negative 3 and negative 3 since they have the same sign, so we will just add. So we have 3 plus 3 is 6. Then copy the sign negative. And the absolute value of negative 6 is positive 6. Therefore, the measure or the length of the line segment FS is equal to 6 units. Thus, we have the same answer using the subtraction method and the counting method or you can also have the the length of the line segment starting from s to f so we have the absolute value of s minus f so we have by substitution r s is equal to 3 copy the negative or minus and RF is negative 3. Since RF is negative 3, so we will have the open and close parenthesis. Now, let's multiply the negative. So negative times negative, it will become positive. So we have 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. And the absolute value of 6 is 6 units. So they have just the same answer. So you can solve it from F to S or S to F. Next example for the subtraction method is, what is the length of the line segment EP? So again, our first step is, we will determine the coordinates of its endpoint. So for our point E, the coordinate of point E is, negative 1 and our point p is negative 5. Now to find the length of the line segment e p is equal to the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of its end points. So now by substitution since r e is negative 1 so r e here will become negative 1 and copy minus, and RP is negative 5. So RP becomes negative 5. And since this is negative, so we will put here open and close parenthesis. Next is negative times negative is positive. So we have now negative 1 and positive 1. Since they have different signs, so we will subtract. So 5 minus 1 is 4. And take the sign of the further number, since the further number or the larger number is 5 and it is positive, so our answer here is positive 4. And the absolute value of 4 is 4 units. Therefore, the length of the line segment EP is equal to 4 units. Or, again, you can solve it from P to E. So we have the length of the line segment PE is equal to the absolute value of P minus E. So we have here. So by substitution, we have our P is negative 5. Copy the negative. And since RE is negative 1, so again, we will put open and close parenthesis. So we have now negative times negative, positive 1. And since we have negative 5 and positive 1, they have different signs, so we will subtract. 5 minus 1 is 
4. And since 5 is the biggest number or the further number and it is negative, so our answer here is negative. And the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4 units. So they just have the same answer. For our last example for the subtraction method is, what is the length of the line segment MC? So our point M is here and its coordinate is 0. For our point C is here and its coordinate is 2. So to find the length of the line segment MC, we have the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of its endpoint. Now, by substitution, since our m is 0, so our m here becomes 0 minus c is 2, so our c here becomes 2. And 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And the absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. Therefore, the length of the line segment MC is equal to 2 units. Or, you can have this solution, you can start from C to M. So, we have the absolute value of C minus M. By substitution, we have RC is 2 minus RM is 0. And 2 minus 0 is 2. And the absolute value of 2 is 2. Therefore, the length of the line segment CM is equal to 2 units. So it is your choice if you can, if you will use this one or this one. So to sum it up, there are two ways of finding the length of a line segment. First, we have the counting method. So you will just count the step from its endpoint to endpoint. Second, we have the subtraction method. So we will just solve here for the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of its endpoint. And that ends our quick math tutorials. If you like the video, please click on the like button. If you have questions, just leave a comment below. And to be notified on my next video, Please click on the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.